Hi, Colleen here with the English Law Group, giving you your daily update on the title industry through the COVID-19 virus. Wanted to let you know that we are open and it looks like we will be open um, during the duration of this. The um, Department of Treasury and the Department of Homeland Security have all deemed title and settlement companies as essential businesses, so no need to worry that we'll be shutting down. Um, if something changes, we will certainly let you know. That being said, we do have a lot of employees that are working from home uh, right now. So if you call in, we're here. Um, if you try to reach an extension, it might go to voicemail and uh, then that employee will call you back. Just leave a message because we're all working. It's just some of us are working from home <clears throat> and that'll actually rotate out depending on childcare and all that fun stuff. So I also want to let you know that some of the obstacles that are happening in in light of us being open, or in spite of us being open, I guess I should say, is that um, lenders are having some issues sometimes with verification of employments. It might be a good idea to go ahead and get your last pay stubs if you have those things and submitting those to your lender, or you know maybe wait until they tell you what, but, um, but the verification of employment is an obstacle for some of the companies that are closed down in, under, in other industries. We did think that one of the obstacles was going to be recording offices being closed, the county clerks. However, we've been notified that most of the counties in which we do our business are actually remaining open to process those recordings. They are not open to the public. We can't search the records in the actual courthouses, but we can record the documents from closing, your deeds, your mortgages, your power of attorneys, those types of things. That's great news. Fantastic news. Um, hopefully that remains the procedure. Um, <clears throat> the other thing is that there are title or because some of the county clerk's offices or because they're all closed to the public, I should say, many of the counties uh, are not online. So if we can't search the records to see who the owner is and if there's liens, we can't do the closings. Uh, we are required to, in most cases, do a 30 year search um, on title. And a lot of the counties that even do have online records don't go back that far. So uh, it's gonna be case by case, file by file. We're gonna see what happens and we will do our absolute best to get everything to closing that we possibly can. Because of the social distancing, we have asked that sellers stay in their car when possible so we can have them sign and the buyers come in and sit at the end of the table um, to again, practice that social distancing. It makes scheduling difficult. Um, been really interesting so you know we're, we're, we're doing the best we can with the scheduling and we'll get it done it's just you know it, we might not be as flexible with uh, double booking triple booking that kind of thing so again that's that we're gonna take them as they come um, today that's not an issue but you know reaching the end of the month that that could be the case there is a list that I have put um, uh, in this post of the counties that are accepting recording. And remember, that does not mean that they have online databases. It means that if we close a property in Kentucky, those are the, those are the counties as of today that can record the documents. It's a fluid situation. Things can change from day to day. We will be here. Uh, it just, uh, the process is looking a little different and we're all working our best to get everything done. So if you have any questions, as always, give us a call. We will answer them as best we can if we know the answers and we will let you know more as we learn more. Stay well and we hope, <clears throat> we hope to see you all really soon.